I think one thing you do brilliantly as a comedian is you always find some line, and if you cross it, it's still acceptable and funny. Like, like there's a joke in the movie about JFK, which I won't give away, but then like in the SNL monologue, how do you balance out that line? How do you gauge that in your mind of where you're gonna cross it and how it's gonna be affected by people? I mean, you gotta, you know, you do gauge it in your mind. You know, I just, I'm still just trying to make people laugh. And I'm also just trying to, to not be boring. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, and sometimes people can make you laugh and be boring. Mm. You know, so I never want to be one of those guys that you're laughing, but you don't remember anything when it's over. Right. So, I don't know. My, my goal is at always to be remembered. Right. You know, so... Right. That's what I'm, I'm looking for, those type of jokes, and those jokes are going to always walk a line. Right. Now, I've been watching you stand up for a long time, and I, I, I'm from DC, so I got to mention the Marion Barry thing and him yeah, passing. It's sad. Do you, and any comments on how, it's how you sad. affected you? It's a guy, you know what? I mean, I guess he helped me out. He helped out any comedian. Um, but uh, the guy has a great life. He's a great story. I hope they do a movie about him, because it's, it's it. an amazing story, Marion Barry, you know, from what he started, you know. People just know, oh, the mayor smoked crack. They don't know that this guy was a, you know, big civil rights leader, you know? Yeah. And, you know, big leader in Washington, D.C., you know? Right. You know? Yeah. Very important. Very, you know, just, uh, yeah, I wish somebody would do him. Right. Now, I think one of the most fascinating scenes in the film is when Gabrielle Union, uh, you guys are doing the kissing scene, and she's like, if it, it doesn't happen on camera, it didn't. It, it doesn't exist. Yeah. It, it didn't happen. So I'm wondering for you, how does that line apply to who we are as a society today? It is. It's unfortunately, sad. it is kind of, it's probably, it's one of the most important lines in the movie. I agree. And, yeah, that's where we are today. And that's who her character is. And it, you know, you could have made her into a horrible person, but it's just that one line that just tells you, okay, that's the difference between her and that's the difference between him. These two are two totally different people. And, yeah, unfortunately, we live in a world now where if it's not on camera, it doesn't count. Now, I'm a big uh, hip-hop fan, so I've, I've had top five discussions with my friends all the time. And I know that scene when you guys are giving the top five is one of my favorite moments in the movie. So I'm wondering if I were to walk in that room and give my top five, how would the group have reacted? It depends on your top five. I mean, okay. you got to realize it's not just a top five movie. It's New Yorkers. It's true. So New Yorkers, like, yo, we, this is hip-hop's ours. Right. Can I give you mine? Yo, give it to me. I, I want to get your reaction. I got, this is tr truth, because Biggie's my number one, because Give Me the Loot's one of the greatest songs ever written. So okay. I got to go number one. Eminem's two. Eminem, okay. I know, it's my age. I go I go Tribe three. Tribe no, no, no one's going to argue right. about Tribe. Nas nope. four, only because Ether was better than Takeover, I thought, okay. even though I love Jay-Z. No one's going to be mad at you at Nas. And then five, I go Kendrick. I think his track... Kendrick already? But I, I think his track on the control one verse. Album. But that control verse, the Big Sean song when he just dissed everyone. Yeah. That, that, but he's also in your trailer, too. I like Kendrick. I like Kendrick a lot. It's just, it's just early. It's too early. It's just real early. All right. he's, he's, not, he's not even a free agent yet. That's, all how, right. that's, how, that's, <laughs> that's how you know many years he's been in the league. Right. Can I ask you one nerdy question before I go? Sure, sure. Always wanted to know this, because I want to be a director one day. When you're directing yourself in a movie, do you ever yell cut in action if you're in your own scene? How does that work? Yeah, because you got you to gotta, you gotta, put this way. You, you yell action sometimes to cue the extras. Hmm. You know what I mean? Because they got to know when to start and you know things are going on behind you or whatever. You might not say action, per se, in a scene with just two people, but, yeah, if you're outside or something, you would want to say action and cut. Yeah. Well, Mr. Rock, it's an absolute pleasure to sit around oh, with you. Yeah. I, I think you're phenomenal. and I think, Thank you. 